Jamie, the temperature is significantly cooler here at the beach in Edmonds. That's why people say they traveled here to beat the heat. And they also tell me they're finding plenty of space to find a safe distance from others in this ongoing pandemic. A dip in the Puget Sound is an easy decision on a sunny day like this. There's a sailboat. There goes the sailboat. What is too hot? Too hot? I would say when it gets 89, 90s. An excessive heat warning is in effect across the region until Saturday night, but it's a little cooler on the beach in Edmonds. Still, visitors planned ahead to stay healthy under the sun. We got lots of sunblock, we got spray, we got the face stick. We've had lots of water. Though not many people have on masks, they're still keeping distance from others as concerns about the COVID-19 Delta variant increases. When we get together with friends to meet in outdoor places like this, and so we we keep a good distance between most people. We can take the paddleboard and get out on the water if we need even more space. Several parents like Laura Wagner are out with their children. They like their pretzels. Most of them too young to get a vaccine, but even vaccinated people without a mask can spread the variant according to the CDC to protect her family. Wagner says the outdoors is the only place they'll go mask free. We've just adjusted so much to wearing masks indoors that even when they lifted the, the mask mandates, we were still wearing them indoors. And, and especially because Callan, my son, isn't vaccinated and he's so used to wearing masks at his school anyway, I, I think we'll continue to wear them indoors. The Snohomish Health District has several cooling centers throughout the county today and this weekend. Most locations, though, do require a mask, so you will want to keep that in mind in case you need to use one of those facilities to cool off. Reporting live in Edmonds, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.